Well, like any sort of capitalist, he works for the shareholders and sort of his morality and ethics are based around what is going to be the most successful thing for those shareholders. If this most successful thing is a danger to the people who are doing it or a danger to the public good, it doesn't really matter as long as that money still keeps coming in. He's not your priest. He's yeah. not your father. He's not a teacher. Um, and I can guarantee there are most people who are shareholders who of any company or anybody who has um, a 401 1K, they would prefer to see that go up rather than down. Most people would tell you that they would also like for there to be some kind of moral or ethical framework to the investments. However, when it comes to saying, listen, we're going to give you um, a real, this is an important stock for you to invest in because they're doing the right thing and you keep losing money, it will test people's moral uh, fortitude. Uh, so if you want to be a part of the capitalist system, you're typically engaged in the idea of growth. And since Corey has nothing but um, evidence that his version of growth uh, works, then there's no reason he shouldn't be as confident and cocky and capable of his own uh, aptitude, uh, which he is, which is a really great, fun thing to play. Yeah, you way. seem like you're relishing the, like a lot of the moments. that. Yeah, I mean, he's so much smarter than me. He thinks faster. <laughs> he talks faster than I do. And it's all scripted for me. So all I have to do is do the homework and do the uh, text work to make sure that I know exactly what I'm saying. And then the actual participation in that moment is just about, and it's, it's why there's those kinds of weird line readings or whatever, because that's whatever's happening in the moment when we're doing the scene. And Corey's capable of being present in a way that I'm not totally, you know, he has these big ideas that he's able to bring to a conversation that seems like a, a pretty, I don't know, banal or regular conversation that all of a sudden seems strange and extraordinary. Um, it's because Carrie Aaron has scripted it that way. And I've just worked to try to get myself to the place that I can be present in the moment. Mm -hmm.